Hey folks, Fat Guy Flies RC. We're going to take up the Free Wing MiG-29 Twin 80 again. We got two 5300 SMC's high voltage packs in there, and we're going to see just what kind of speed I can get. Right, left, right, left, up, down. Remember, this doesn't have any elevator to flat mix. Not doesn't need one. And make sure we're running on our speed meter. We set my timer for four minutes instead of three and a half. All right. All right, we're moving. It's recording. So, got the KM model afterburner in there. Dual. Of course, I got two uh, motors, so I got to have dual. Beautiful sunset flight with a MiG-29 Fulcrum. 280. All right. Take off flaps. Gear up. Oh, she got the power. Definitely switch to high rates. Gear down. Landing flaps. Time remaining, three minutes. Work on that hatch again. She wanted to. I got so much, so much wiring. Prop secured. Flaps up. Oh boy, is it windy? <laughs> it is windy. Let's check our speed. Read. 122 mile an hour, 122 with a big twin 80. All right, start that again. Let me get this uh, hatch back down here again. See if I can figure out what's, now that's part of the problem right there. You just got so much wiring in here that you just really has a hard time all right. Wendy, Wendy. Motors armed. All right. in front of you here. All right. Take off flaps. Well, we don't really need take off flaps. Take it up. I should definitely give him my speed run. Into the wind. Gear down. Time remaining, two minutes.
Beautiful plane. All right, let's see to check our speed before we go up one more time. High rates for me uh, is what I'll switch to and I feel better. 100% throws, 30% expo all the way around. All right. Read. 125 mile an hour, 125. All right. All right, she's reading. I'm gonna stay out here this time. Well, no I won't, because it messes up the audio if I turn away. Let me get back, get back down here where I'm in position again. Okay. All right, minute and a half left, here we go. Come by, make sure my gear is down, which it should be by now. Time remaining, one minute. And it is. Landing flaps. Flaps up. Yeah, my, my biggest problem with this plane is just keeping that hatch secured. And I didn't even use landing flaps. Didn't even use landing flaps. You bring her in enough of a high alpha. I don't know if you, I don't know if y'all caught it or not, but when I was out there in that far corner making my turn in, I got a little too slow and she dropped a wing. Well, luckily, I've, you know, you have enough altitude, you can save yourself, and I got out of it real quick. So you really can't get too slow in your turns. You've got to keep up the speed. Let, your, let it start bleeding off into the wind, and if you need to use flaps, use flaps. Uh, got enough headwind now, I could get away without needing the flaps, but this is a big plane, moves really fast, got a lot of weight. So I could have even used the flaps, but I would have needed to have a little more speed in my turn, so. All right, enough of that blabbing. Let's check the speed again. Hundred and twenty-one. So we went, I think, one twenty-six, one twenty-five, and one twenty-one. I think. I, like I said, I got a, one of my viewers said there's a way of test your records, and you can keep documents on here. I have to figure that out. But for right now, I'll look at the video to tell us what. By my first speed, I think was my fastest. So, all right. Turn that off, off, all right. Put that in my pocket. And let's check our, and that's the, the afterburner is the KM model of afterburners, dual afterburner. And uh, see what I'm saying? There's so much wiring and so much back in here and trying to fit all of that inside of here. I'd have to, sh I had to shave a little bit out of this canopy just so the battery will fit. And this is a 5300, this is a 5300 SMC pack. The back one runs the uh, U-back and the front one runs the uh, afterburner. So let's see what kind of juice. Not bad, 45%. So I'm gonna predict about 38% on this one. Cause it's always gonna be, what do we say? We said 45, okay. So I'm gonna say maybe 42. 39. So not, you know, not too far off. But the U-Bag drives the all the systems and uh, takes care of an overcharge and, and that way you have even power distribution. So, well anyways, there you go, folks. That is the, and that's these SMC packs. If you charge them in the high voltage rate of 4.35 on a, on a computerized charger, you can get 5,300 uh, milliamps out of it. If you charge it at a regular LiPo rate, uh, 420, 
you get 4,600. Um, but good performing. Now they do cost about 20% more than the average lipo of this size. So it's all independent how much performance you want. You do get a little better performance, I feel, out of them. Um, honestly though, at the end of the day, the extra money you're paying, I'm not, don't get me wrong, I'm not, try, I'm not trying to talk out two sides of my mouth, but at the end of the day, if you fly a lot of planes and you do a lot of stuff like this, keeping in these, see the wind blowing the plane, uh, keeping in these kind of batteries is awfully expensive. And uh, I flew the uh, 5,000 HRBs in the first flight, and I think I was getting 121, 124, I think, on them so not really all that much difference uh, the only thing is that with these you get the full rate range of energy for the entire flight whereas a regular lipo you seem to get most of your power in the first minute and a half and then it slowly tapers off a little bit so it's all dependent on what you want to put your money on um, these do get awfully hot though whereas the 5000 hrbs after three and a half minutes or almost four minutes of flight there were nowhere near as hot so you, you know, you, you're buying your batteries, so <laughs> it's up to you. Folks, thank you for watching. That is the uh, Freewing 80 millimeter MiG-29 Fulcrum. Great flying plane, and uh, she's definitely a performer, and you gotta stay on the sticks. This is not a, this is not a beginner plane at all. This is an advanced expert. All right, y'all have a good, don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless y'all, and don't forget, stay family and friends, and then big Russian jets.